Hey everyone, Terry Clayton here, and today I'm going to make a silane or what's called a nano ceramic coating for my car. Um, it's silane based chemistry, so basically it's an organic uh, silane structure that turns to silica or turns to glass on the surface of your car. Provides a lot of hardness, really repels water, and if you've seen these products on the internet, they're very expensive. So I'm going to prepare one myself and then coat my 2007 Pilot and we'll see how well it works. Okay, so I'm not going to get into the chemistry, but it's essentially a mixture of silane polymers, solvents, and trace leveling agents in order to get a smooth leveling coating that turns to glass after it's cured. All right, so this is my 2007 Pilot, and before we get started, I'm gonna give a quick demonstration. So this car is in pretty rough shape, but I just wanna show you what happens when I spray water on the surface of the car. You can see it, uh, it really wets out to a large extent. Uh, what this tells you is the surface is oxidized, the water can spread evenly, so I'm hoping this new coating is gonna take care of that. And one of the things I want you to know today is I'm not gonna use any waxes. I'm simply gonna clean my car, uh, probably buff out any scratches, and then apply the silane chemistry. So let's see what happens. All right, so I've finished washing my car. Now I'm going to polish it with a, um, a turtle wax polishing compound. There's no wax in here. All I'm gonna be doing is trying to get out the oxidation, try and give the car a good shine before I apply the ceramic coating. Once I apply, uh, or once I finish polishing uh, the section of the car, I'm going to take it into the garage and I am going to apply the ceramic coating that I made in the uh, garage. Alright, so I've finished doing a portion of my car and this is going to be an awful lot of work. So I've decided to take the right hand side of the hood and I've just polished a section there. I'm going to leave it alone, pull it in the garage and apply my ceramic coating to uh, just a portion of the hood that I tape off so we can see the results without me having to spend all day working on this car. Okay, I've got my supplies laid out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply a thin coat of the ceramic coating to the surface of the car. I'm gonna wait about one to two minutes. It actually is pretty humid here today. So that silicone, it's actually gonna start reacting with moisture and turning into that final glass coating. It is gonna take a few days, uh, but I'm gonna accelerate the process using a heat gun. I'm going to use the crosshatch method. So I'm going to go once up and down, and then I'll go across. That's it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this start to cure for the next one to two minutes. That's going to give the solvent a chance to evaporate, and then that silane chemistry, which is incredibly reactive with moisture, is going to start cross-linking. I do want to give it one final smoothing once the solvent evaporates, but before it starts to cure too much to give it a nice shine. Okay, it's been about uh, one and a half minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and very gently smooth this coating. Okay, I'm going to let this cure for about a half an hour, and just because my car is, is, is so old and so pitted. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a second coat, but I'm gonna do that in about a half an hour after I hit this with the heat gun. All right, so now I'm gonna use a heat gun, which is gonna accelerate the process. Okay, that first coat looks really good. It's been about 40 minutes, so I'm gonna apply the second coat. And again, the goal is to put just a couple of microns across the surface because that is going to react with moisture and the silicone coating is going to turn into a silica. It's going to turn into glass. And that's what we want to have happen. So again, I'm going to wait about two minutes and then I'm going to wipe it very gently with a microfiber cloth just to make sure that it's laying nice and smooth. Okay, that's about it. I'm going to let this cure. We'll add a little bit of heat to it to help it along and we'll have a, a nice ceramic coating on this uh, test pattern on my car. Here's a quick look up close of uh, the final coating I applied. You can see my buffing job wasn't perfect, but uh, it, it certainly looks a lot better than the other side of the car. Perfect. Exactly what I was hoping for. Totally repels water.